Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jay from Sony Alpha Lab, and I got a treat for you today. What I got here is a super affordable yet high quality tripod from a company called Mactrum. You can find this unit on Amazon, and it's called the CT62 aluminum tripod with ball head. Now, this thing goes for $75, okay? And it has a ton of features that the higher end tripods have. Now, if you've looked into tripods, they go from anywhere from like, you know, 50 bucks all the way up to like $1,000, depending on what you're looking for. You know, they got carbon fiber, like insane different types of tripod solutions out there and ball heads, a, a super high quality, like German made ball head. You could spend $400 on, okay, just the ball head. This company makes a really affordable solution and it's perfect for cameras like this, in my opinion, like the Sony a7R, full frame mirrorless cameras the A6500, things like that, all the mirrorless cameras. This is a really good solution for that. So, and again, it's $75, okay? So what I wanna show you is what this can do, okay? This tripod weighs in at only three pounds, so it's extremely lightweight, okay? And it folds up to like 16.9 inches, so it, it folds up really small, but yet it goes as high as 62 inches so it's really tall so if you're a tall person you don't have to bend over to look through so it has like all those key features and the ball head is very versatile so let me open this up and show you what i just wanted to show you this cool bag that it comes in okay all right and the links are below the links are below as always with my reviews so check this out it's got this cool little bag all right guys, I just wanted to show you a the accurate color of this tripod. Because of the green screen, you'll see in this review, I like using the green screen in the background and this this call this aqua color has a little bit of green in it. So it actually sucked that out and it made it look a, like a little bit purple as you're gonna see in this review. But this is the actual color. It's more of an anodized blue. So that's the color. I'll just put this down here for now. And you can see how the tripod folds up, okay? So it folds up into this style. All right, now if you want to open it up, you basically just turn the legs around like so. All right, and then you could loosen this. Let's put it like that for now. And the arms, the legs have this little lever here, okay, that pulls out and slides in. Okay, so if you leave it in, it'll go to the bottom setting and you can just pull everything out. Let's push that in like so okay and that's what we're looking at now it also comes with this cool strap here so you can carry just the tripod around and it's got these quick release switches for the legs that release them and it's made out of aluminum so it's extremely lightweight but it has this like ridge in the aluminum so the aluminum can be extra thin but still have some rigidity to it okay now going over the ball head what you're looking at here you can see the ball head swivels around. It has a pan option right here. It's got a pan and then it has a tilt. All right, so you can use this to tilt the ball head around and then you can lock that if you want. But it also has another knob here that you can use to just lock the ball head. All right, so that'll lock it so the ball head won't move even if you loosen this up. The ball head will not move because it's locked. So that's a really great feature if you have an extra heavy lens on there or something like that. All right, now the pan head, you can just lock that sucker down like so, and now the pan won't spin. And this is nice rubber grip here, so you can loosen that and tighten it. Works quite well, like so, tighten that down. And like I said, this thing here, the way that this works, you just pull these out, okay? So you can pull it out a little bit, and then you can move the leg further out, you can push it down, and then it'll lock at the second setting. So if you want to get the tripod lower to the ground, that's a good way to do that. In addition to that, this leg, actually the one with the pad on it, unscrews, okay? And you can actually screw it to the bottom of this. This actually unscrews like so. This comes off and you can turn it into a monopod, all right? So this tripod actually doubles as a monopod. That is a really, really cool feature. And again, for $75, so in any event, let me just go over a couple more things. It has a leveler on here, right there, and it has another leveler over here on this knob. Okay, so there's a leveler there and there's a leveler here. And it's got a, a really nice quick release plate design. So if you unscrew this, you can take the plate off, okay? 
and then it has an M on the plate, which is rubber. All right, so now if I mount this to the bottom of my camera, you can mount it either way, all right? So what we're looking at, you can mount it this way, or you can mount it this way, depending on what you're looking for. So I'm just gonna mount it this way for now. And it's got a nice screw here that it doesn't slide back and forth, it only goes in the middle. Okay, just so you know. And that's pretty tight like that. And now you can mount this sucker. And you just slide it in there like so, and you can tighten her down. And then I could loosen the, the ball head there is tight, and I could loosen the pan and swivel it around. Take some nice, you know, 360 degree shots if you want. And then of course you can loosen this up and you can aim it in the vertical position like so. And that's where the leveler here comes in. Now you can look at this leveler and make sure that you're like perfect. And then you can then do a pano, like a vertical pano, bu -bu 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 And uh, like I said, <laughs> I've been using this thing for about a week now, and I'm really impressed with the, again, $75. This is a great deal. It's a great deal. The end of the day. It's not, you know, the tolerances are not quite as high, obviously, with some higher end units, you know, Manfrotto, um, Arca Swiss, you know, there's a, a Gitzo. There's a lot of brands out there. They cost hundreds of dollars, you know? So when you turn these knobs and stuff, they feel pretty good on this unit. Don't get me wrong, like especially the tilt knob. I really like the tilt knob, but there is just a little bit of play, you know, in the knob and stuff like that. Um, I don't feel any play in this, the way where it attaches on the top though. That is particularly nice. Now also look when I loosen it a little bit, see how it can't come out? You have to loosen it all the way. Then you can take it out. It has these little knobs on the bottom. You can see here, if I put it at, the right, at a right angle, you can see these little knobs. And that keeps it from coming out when you loosen it just a little bit. So you don't have to worry about the camera falling out or anything like that if you accidentally loosen it somehow. All right. Now, in addition to that, it comes with a cell phone holder. Okay. So I can actually take this off. All right, and I can screw it to this little bracket that comes with it. This is like a cell phone bracket. All right, and then I got my cell phone here, and you can actually, it actually opens up, like it has a spring. So I can open that up like so, put my cell phone in there, and now I could mount my cell phone like so. So if you're somebody that films, you know, with a cell phone, I'm sorry, it's hard to see here. I'll lower it a little bit. But now you can use this to film yourself in a, with a cell phone. You could turn it either way. You can adjust it. It's got an adjustable, adjustable knob here on the back. So you can dial it in how you want it. You know, obviously you just slide the camera or the uh, cell phone up a little bit and you'd be able to turn it vertically. So that's a pretty cool feature as well. And it's just a bonus, you know, they just include that in the kit. So you get a cell phone holder, it turns into a monopod, and it goes 62 inches high, and it folds down to 16.9 inches. Now, it claims it supports 33 pounds. I wouldn't put 33 pounds on this, but I would definitely, you could probably go as high as 20 pounds and be pretty confident with it. I put my Canon 5D Mark II with the 70 to 200 millimeter lens on there. That's a pretty heavy setup and it was able to handle it no problem. Um, you know, but as far as like a 400 millimeter lens or something like that, I wouldn't go that crazy with a ball head like this. But again, $75 guys. This is a really good value for the dollar, no doubt about it. And uh, like I said, I've been using it for about a week now and I'm very happy with it. I really like the little bag it comes in. It's, it's super, a very lightweight. The other tripod I have, which I, I have the um, Sony Nex 6 mounted to right now, it's my Manfrotto tripod. It's a very similar design. The legs and the, the way that the um, release latches are designed are very similar, and, but it's way heavier. Things like five pounds. The head itself weighs like a pound and a half. So it's, it's like a burden to carry around. I really enjoy the light weight of this, especially with the mirrorless cameras. You don't need a super heavy tripod for the mirrorless cameras. You know what I'm saying? It also has this, let me show you here. It also has this little thing here hanging. See that? Right there. 
and it's got like a spring built in so you can hang like a weight okay so you can hang a weight to this to like make it even more stable if it's like windy or something like that so that's another nice feature that this this offers okay you can actually turn this upside down and put the head on the bottom side if you wanted to if you wanted to have the camera the camera would obviously be upside down but if you want the camera like on the ground you can actually do that as well it's like extremely versatile in that regard it gives you an allen key here notice there's an allen key that's on this leg so the allen key can be used to adjust these screws if these screws get a little loose or you want them a little tighter you can dial that in with the allen key that's included and it clamps right on here so you're not going to lose that again another nice feature and uh, let me just take this off all right so that's the cell phone attachment let me just give you a couple of tips. I've been using this for a week now and you know, it, every tripod's different. You know, everything's got its little, I don't know, idiosyncrasies. I'm not sure what the right word is. But what I noticed for this is if you wanted to get it back in the bag and you want it to fit in the bag, no problem. What you gotta do is you gotta loosen, just loosen everything up a little bit, okay? Loosen that up, loosen these up like so, okay? And then this has to go up to the vertical position so we're going to raise that up but first i'm going to swing these up and raise that up like so turn this around like that turn this around like that and then you might have to swivel this so let me just adjust the pan knob here you got to turn this out of the way this part is what's a little bit you know finicky here just takes a little bit of getting used to You have to have everything in the right position, you know, in order to get it in as compact as possible. All right, so right about there, turn that a little bit. All right, so right about there is how you got it, okay? Just like so. And it's easiest if you just leave everything a little bit loose, all right? And you can obviously swivel this stuff around and get it out of the way more, depending on your purpose. And then you can basically shove it in the bag and be on your way. Okay, so like I said, um, for a budget tripod, if you only have $75 to spend on a tripod, I would highly recommend getting this tripod right here. It's the CT62. Okay, now they do make it in other colors. This anodized blue color might not be for you, but I used to ride, uh, I used to have a Yamaha FZ1. Fantastic motorcycle, okay? Back in the day, this was like 15 years ago, had a 1,000cc four-stroke, just badass motor on it. Thing had crazy power, okay? But what, what one cool thing about the bike, it had the uh, this cool blue anodized aluminum on it. So I had blue anodized aluminum foot pegs on the brake calipers. It had blue anodized, you know, uh, bolts and stuff, and it just looked cool. And that's what, what the reason why I went for this one, because I just it just reminded me of that. And I was like, oh, I remember that, you know, so I got the blue. But at the end of the day, $75, guys. If you're looking for a tripod and you have a limited budget, I would highly recommend checking this out, okay? I've been using it, like I said, I've been using it for over a week now, and it does hold up, okay? I wouldn't recommend it if it didn't. It's super compact and super lightweight, and it does the job. Like, it's, it's as advertised, okay? You know, so... If you have one of these tripods, I would love to hear your thoughts on it. Please let me know in the comments section below. What's your experience with this tripod? You like it, you don't like it, etc. Let me know. Be sure to subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you like this video. So I will catch up with you guys next time and please have a great day. Take care.